Okay, uh, hello guys, how y'all doing today? So, in today's video, I will be reviewing the cheapest Toyota 4Runner with a V8. So, I got this vehicle from uh, a young lad, and uh, he was selling it because he didn't know what was wrong with it. The vehicle wouldn't go past uh, 25 miles per hour. And, uh, let's see. And the air condition and radio will not come on. So uh, I took it upon myself and I said, what can I do, what can we do to fix this problem? And as you can see, the vehicle still looks elegant. Uh, it's got uh, off-road tires in the aftermarket lift kit, as you can see. Right there, that's an aftermarket, and uh, do not mind the dirty nice. The vehicle is quite dirty just because I haven't actually, you know, went ahead and washed it or cleaned it out. But I will after I, you know, get through doing all that I'm gonna do in it. Uh, let's look at the interior. Okay, so this is the interior, it's quite dirty, but I mean, and uh, it's got about 223,000 miles in it. Got the roof rack that's going out there, and uh, the tow edge is still right there. There's a tow edge and everything. Everything actually works because I fixed the problem of the vehicle not going past 25 miles per hour. I fixed that problem, and the vehicle drives past 25 now. I have my bicycle back in there, no matter. And uh, it's got five, which is five people, and uh, let's see. Yeah, the face mask in there. Uh, we got all these here aftermarket uh, radio system. We've got everything working, so everything here works. Uh, the reason it's quite dirty right now is because I'm still working on the vehicle to get it running properly. Because the radio, like I said, the radio and uh, uh, air condition doesn't come on. And also the blinker does not work. I have no reason, I have no reason, or do I know, either do I know why it doesn't work, but it doesn't work. Uh, let's open up the hood. The hood, check out the engine bay, which is quite great. Okay, so I got a new battery in there. I got a new alternator because when I uh, went to the part store and they put the machine on it to check it out the alternator reads 11.88 so I went ahead and bought another alternator put it on and still the same thing 11.88 so I realized that the the ground wiring is not connected to this one I do not know if that's one of the problems but the ground is not connected to it so I will get that done uh, while while the mechanic was taking out the alternator the other day, I was I, I stood beside him and looked at it. The plug that goes into the alternator, the harness, looks like one of them is burnt. One some part, one of the uh, the the pin that goes into it is burnt out. So uh, I went ahead to Toyota and ordered a new a new uh, harness. To plug in so once i get that on tuesday i will put it on myself and then uh put the ground cable on too and then you know we'll see from there how it goes because the reason why i'm trying to do this by myself is because i do not want to spend a whole lot of money going down to uh toyota for them to fix it up for me uh the vehicle engine works the transmission works everything works properly uh, I did change some fuses because the vehicle wasn't going past 25 miles per hour. So what I did was I went ahead and changed some uh, some fuse and boom, the vehicle drives past 25 miles per hour. Now it goes faster. So I don't know what's going on, but I did change that and it did work. As you can see from what we're looking at here, the former owner, who, was, who I believe is a dickhead, uh, went off-roading. In it, and I think that's what, what happened to the vehicle not running properly anymore. It, it messed it up big time. It messed it up big time. Oh, let's see. Let's see the back. The back seats. Okay. The back seats are still good to go. 
Uh, and also, I might say this, I do not know why people cut out the pipes. He cut out the exhaust pipe, and as you can see, there's a remnant right there. And I do not know why he did that, but I don't, I don't like the sound of a loud vehicle. I do not like the sound of a loud vehicle, but I don't know what can we do? We gotta take it. And also, uh, I found out that this color right here for the blue vehicle, for the blue, the blue color is a rare one for the Toyota 4Runners. And uh, I don't know if that, I do not know if that's true, but from what the former owner told me, he said it's a rare color. And for real, when I go around the, around town, I see people driving a 4Runner. It's always a uh, white silver or something else no never seen blue i don't know why i never seen blue but uh see let's turn it on and see how it sounds the vehicle starts properly as you can see as you can hear that the vehicle starts out properly but the air condition and the radio will not come on None of them coming on, but the time does come on. I took out the radio and unplugged it, and still didn't change nothing. I put it back on, the uh, the, the clock came on, but the air conditioning stuff did not come on. That's right there, the ABS lights, the skid light, the skid light, and uh, track VSC track control light is on. The maintenance light is on. The check engine light is on. The brake light is on. But anyway, I believe that actually has something to do with the uh, with the ground wiring not connected properly and uh, do not mind that <laughs> do, not, do not mind that but anyway that's what we have uh, everything else works but the the, uh, the pointer the blinker does not work but then if I put on the the acid light it works the acid light works, but the blinker would not work. So I believe that might be um, the alternator, one of the uh, plug, plug-in outlets burn out. And also, it might also be the fact that the ground is not actually connected properly. So that, you know, so many reasons, but I will get into, you know, get down to the bottom of the reasons and, you know, get try to get everything fixed out and see if I get, you know, to change something. Everything works everything works in this vehicle apart from the radio like i said everything else works i wouldn't try to open that but the lights come on the roof rack i mean it's a v8 you know and these are rare vehicles for 06 uh like i said the vehicle is a 2006 uh toyota forerunner and it's got a aftermarket brake color press all around there's an aftermarket and there's the alternator right there so what I'm trying to take out, remove, and that is this plug right here. I want to take out that plug right there and then change it and see where we go from there. That's what I'm going to do. And uh, we got running boards under there. Another aftermarket. These are aftermarket, uh, aftermarket uh, brake calipers all around. check that out I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you have a, a, a answer to my problem that I'm, that I'm going through right now the uh, air condition doesn't come on and the radio does not come on either if you have an answer please shoot me an email in the comment section or you know post a comment and let me know what you think is happening to this uh, because I'm trying to make it work but it is not working I will try my best and get it to work, but I know I will not spend a whole lot of money, you know, before I get it to work. But anyway, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you do, smash the subscribe button. And uh, also, I like to say the reason why I actually got this vehicle is because of Scotty, Scotty Kimmer. If you don't know Scotty Kimmer, you know, he's on, uh, on YouTube talking about vehicles and what vehicle not to buy but he always want he has a soft spot when it comes to a toyota and i got the vehicle like okay i can fix it up and i did get one part situated and uh please let me know what you guys think if you know what the problem is i will really you know appreciate that too uh thank you for today and i hope you guys have a safe pleasant day ahead bye